Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. This is Common Mistakes in A2 Biology, Part 3. Number 1. Confusing sickle cell anemia and hemophilia. Sickle cell anemia is a disease where the hemoglobin molecules in a person are abnormal. This leads to the distortion of red blood cells and causes anemia, where the number of red blood cells is low. It is caused by a mutation of HPB gene which located at chromosome 11. The mutated allele is recessive, so this is an autosomal recessive condition. Hemophilia is a disorder where the body's ability to control blood clotting is impaired. This causes the inability to stop bleeding. The mutation occurs at the X chromosome and the mutated allele is recessive. So, this is an X-linked recessive condition. Number 2. Directly linking gibberellin with switching on gene expression. Gibberellin does not act directly on the gene. When it binds to the receptor, it leads to the attachment of ubiquitin on the DELA protein. This triggers the destruction of the DELA proteins by proteasomes. DELA protein is a repressor that binds to transcription factor. When it is broken down, transcription can occur so the gene is expressed. Number 3. Stating that an operon can be found in all types of cells. Operon is a cluster of genes which are the functional unit of transcription and genetic regulation. It consists of regulator, promoter, operator, and structural gene. It is typical of prokaryotes but not eukaryotes. Number 4. Stating that advantageous genes are passed on during natural selection. During natural selection, it is the different alleles that leads to the selective advantages and disadvantages among members of a population. So, those individuals with selective advantages pass on the beneficial or advantageous alleles to the next generation. Number 5. Confusing the genetic basis of continuous and discontinuous variation. The continuous variation does not show a few discrete alternative states. It is quantitative. It is normally polygenic and often shows large environmental effects. The discontinuous variation shows widely different alternative states. It is qualitative. These phenotypic differences are caused by the existence of different alleles of a single gene and usually not affected by the environmental factors. Number 6. Not understanding that natural selection and genetic drift are different mechanisms of evolutionary change. Natural selection occurs when there is an unequal ability of individuals in a population to survive and reproduce due to the environmental conditions. These environmental factors act as selection pressure causing those with selective advantages to reproduce and pass on the advantageous alleles, while the chance of those with selective disadvantages reproduce is reduced. Genetic drift also resulting in changes in allele frequencies over time. However, it is due to random chance rather than the environmental factors. It is more important in small populations where some alleles become less common than the other over time by chance and may be eliminated eventually. Number 7. Confusing selective breeding with genetic engineering. Selective breeding or artificial selection is a process where organisms that have beneficial phenotypic traits were chosen to reproduce, giving rise to offspring with those desired traits. Genetic engineering is the direct manipulation or modification of DNA to alter an organism's phenotype in a particular way. Number 8. Giving a definition of a community when asked to define an ecosystem. The definition of community is all of the populations of all of the different species within a specific area at a particular time. It includes the entire living thing in that area, but not the non-living component. Ecosystem is a unit made up of biotic and abiotic components interacting and functioning together. They are linked together by energy flow and cyclings of nutrients. It includes both the living and the non-living components. Number 9. Believing that reverse transcriptase allows single-stranded RNA to become double-stranded DNA. Reverse transcriptase synthesizes a single-stranded DNA which is complementary to the single-stranded RNA. The hybrid has to be treated with alkaline solution to degrade the single-stranded RNA. Then, DNA polymerase is used to synthesize another strand of DNA to produce the double-stranded DNA. Number 10. Only giving disadvantages when asked for ethical or social considerations and implications of using genetically modified organisms in food production. While there are many negative implications when it comes to GMOs, they are advantageous as well. For example, it can be used to increase yield and hence improve production rate of food. 
production of pest tolerance plants can help to reduce the use of pesticide. Food with enhanced nutritional profiles can also be produced to solve the problems of deficiency diseases in some countries. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook. Thank you and see you again soon.